Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos. Let's continue our Android app built on HTML5. So what we've got so far is our project. It's on our virtual device. And then when you tap it to load it, you get this sort of splash screen. And then you have to wait to uh, tap enter. And then it actually loads up. And here's what we've got. What I would like to do is, instead of waiting for that splash screen, uh, that is, instead of me having to click that, what I want to do is write a little bit of code so that I can, so that it can take me directly to it without having to, to wait. So. Let's write a little bit of JavaScript to get that working. We're going to go back to our index file, our root index file. This is the one that first shows you that, um, that welcome message. See that? And then we've got a very simple, ugly link that says enter. I'm going to remove that. If you did it the way I did it, it's on line 35. We don't want to tap anything. We want it to, after a certain amount of time, to automatically take us to the uh, index page inside of the folder that we made called Campos, or whatever yours is, where your project is from jQuery Mobile. And here's what we're going to do. On line 38 to 40, there's a spot of JavaScript written. Uh, we're going to write a little bit more here. We're going to say line 40 set timeout notice the T is capital open close parentheses we're gonna set a timer after a certain amount of time after a certain amount of seconds uh, milliseconds actually uh, something will happen and the something will be that we load up the other page so we need we need to mark in quotes where we are going to go to after our time so notice in quotes I have the name of the folder campus slash index HTML which is my index file of the main project now after the quotes but still within the parentheses I need a comma space and then how much time should elapse uh, until it automatically uh, switches over to the next page so I'm going to put 3,000. 3,000 means 3,000 milliseconds means 3 seconds. Well, that's not our complete code yet. Uh, what we need is to do a few more tricks here. We need to say, before the quote, we're going to say location dot replace, open parentheses, and close the parentheses after the quote. So see this? we've got location dot replace and then open close parentheses and inside of that in quotes we say well where do we go after 3000 milliseconds have, have elapsed and location that replaces a javascript command that will uh, replace the current page with whatever we tell it now that needs to be wrapped inside of a function actually so we'll say open curly brace right before location and then close curly brace after that parentheses and before the curly brace then we'll say function open and close parentheses so here we're jamming an anonymous function into the first parameter of the set timeout function so a function within a function which is basically commands inside of commands so let's see how this works after three seconds it should take us automatically to the index page so I'm gonna run this in my virtual device it's loading one two three go there we go and after a certain amount of time, it takes me to my home page. So that was setting set timeout, JavaScript command with a couple of parameters. And now we have a splash screen. If I exit that, we have a splash screen that loads up. Uh, and
and then after a certain amount of time takes us to the home page.